it's Matthew here with Off-Road Recovery and today we're going to talk about soft shackles. What are they and how to use them? Make sure it has the informational tag, tell you the wheel, wheel lift limit and the brake strength. You need to do all your setups going off working load limit, WLL. Do not go off a of brake strength. The working load limit is what you can use this every day and that is what it's safely used at. The braking strength is when it's brand new, never been used right off the assembly line, and they stretched it till it broke. That's what that number is. Once you start using these, they get a little bit weaker. They're not going to be rated at that brake strength forever. So theoretically, they're just a synthetic winch cable with a diamond knot and a slip loop on one side. How to use them is you take the side that has just a slip loop, you pull it out, to make the hole bigger you put it over top of the diamond knot and then pull it tight now me I like to just push that knot all the way up just to make sure it doesn't come off and that is how you use the soft shackle let's show you some demonstrations on real-life scenarios of where you use them at so you take your soft shackle you go around your bow shackle slide that down put it over the diamond knot pull it tight make sure it's tight and now you can hook your winch cable right on here or you can put a tow strap on here if you're using the truck as an anchor point you use soft shackles when you're using recovery rings you pull it through the center there pull the loop down put it over the diamond knot pull it tight make sure the loop is nice and tight up against the knot and there you go now you have a a recovery ring snatch block setup and then this will spin just like a regular snatch block if you're using a hitch link like this one here from factor 55 don't use ball hitches you would just put this through the hole so you got your hitch link here your soft shackle let's say this is a kinetic rope slide that over loosen up your noose here put it over the diamond knot tighten it up and now you're ready you're ready to go.